Thanks, Richard. Thanks for the invite. Hope everybody can hear me. Hope it's close enough. Again, my name is Lynn Boyer with DFW Hard Money. We're right here in the Arlington, Texas, right here local. And to date, we've completed 847 residential commercial loans valued at over $187 million with zero investor losses. That's my one liner, Richard. Nice. Richard asked me to talk about the top five things that had helped us raise over 50 million in capital. I do have a business partner, so if you hear me say us or we, I'm uh, saying about my business partner. And it's easy, Richard, there's five things that helped us raise 50 million. Beg, plead, stand on a corner, sell plasma, and sell your firstborn. <laughs> easy, just kidding on the plasma. So I've got a question for everybody. If you had $50 million that you want to invest in a company, what would you do to make sure that they're, they're a safe investment? Today I'm going to talk about those five things that have helped us raise $50 million. The first thing is communication. My business, my business partner and I have had, we had several hundred rental properties, and we used to get together and complain about how much we were paying this one plumber. I mean, it was thousands of dollars per month, each of us were paying this plumber. We sold the rental properties and our plumber, you know the plumbers that don't smell good, look kind of rough, they're, 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 they're plumbers. But needless to say, when we sold all the rental properties, the first thing he said was, what are you doing now? We told him he wanted to invest in our company. So I'm saying communicate with everybody, even if you don't think they have any money, but fortunately he did. Sorry, I'm old, I gotta put my glasses on once in a while. One of our first initial investors, he was a real good friend of mine. He invested with us in 2016. And after about three years, he told me, he says, man, he says, I haven't told anybody else because you're giving me that special friend interest rate. No, no, I wanted you to tell everybody. I should have communicated with him to tell him, hey, that rate is the same. Please tell everybody. Please tell anybody else you want to. Google reviews. Man, we respond really fast to our reviews. Um, even the bad ones. We had one investor that uh, started off with us a six month loan. He ended up two and a half years later selling the property. And when he sold it, he lost money, and it was our fault. But we responded, we responded nicely, we responded quickly. And that leads me to the next person that gave us a call. I went out to lunch, and I came back in the office, and the office person said, hey, uh, this person called, and they wanna invest money with you. And the first thing I thought was, well, I've already won the Nigerian lottery three times, but I thought maybe this person might be legit. So I called her back. The first thing that she said to me was, I've called several hard money lenders. I wanna invest in hard money lenders. Nobody would call me back. I looked at your Google reviews. You had one bad review, you responded to it. She left, she came in the very next day and I left with a, she left me a check and it had a lot of zeros on there and I love those checks with a lot of zeros. Two months later, she came back after we've only been paying her for two months she left us another check. So my point is communicate, return phone calls, and you never can tell what will happen. Also, if anybody ever mentions about contributing money to you, respond fast. I mean, we, we answer emails right away. Uh, our investors appreciate that. Number two is having good systems. Our investors are paid correctly, fast, on time. We usually pay them on the 25th of the month, and there's a reason for that. Three months ago, our, our two, we send two files to the bank every month to pay our investors. Well, once you know, one of, the, one of the files got deleted by the bank. Luckily, we already had it there on the 25th, so we didn't have to worry about being late with our investors. So we always pay our investors on time, and they appreciate that. They tell other people. We also make sure that our existing loans, our borrowers, it's the information's correct because some of our borrowers have appreciated how we do business correctly. They said, heck with the flipping business, I'm not making enough money. What they do, invest money with us, which even turned out better for them and for us. Have all your procedures written. We've got uh, all of our foreclosure process, our due diligence process, and also all of the office personnel's job descriptions wrote out. We've got one of our marketing persons, she's gonna go out on maternity leave. So we definitely have 
updated her processes because it's going to be another month she's going to be out of the office so we definitely got that all documented number three we've talked about this or richard's talked about this quite a bit you know establish trust establish yourself as experts in the industry my business partner and i have uh over 20 years in the real estate business buying the rental properties like i've already talked about flipping properties we both own commercial properties we both both also that done development proje uh, projects. So just make sure you establish yourself as an expert, make sure they trust you, that you know what you're doing. When we have people coming to us and saying, we're gonna do this rehab and it's 10,000, we both look at that deal and say, hey, you can't, you can't rehab this property for 10,000 and our investors appreciate that. We're licensed uh, in 11 states as a real estate broker. Or I am licensed in 11 states as a real estate broker. Number four, banks, now that could be a tough one. You know, don't walk into a bank and say, hey, I want a, I want a loan for $50, $50 million. Walk in, start slow. I'm not talking about Chase or Wells Fargo. Stop, start at your community banks. Establish a relationship. Take, take the banker out to lunch a couple times and then show him your pitch deck. Show him what you're planning on doing. Show him your one pager and say, hey, this is what I'm planning on doing. Establish a relationship with this banker. And like I said, it's a tough, but you can definitely, once you establish that relationship, you can definitely work with a community bank. Well, number five, and Richard didn't pay me for this, but I'll say working with a family office club. He uh, helped us. We wrote our pitch deck out and we reviewed it about 10 times, sent it over to Richard, and he also found mistakes right away. I'm like, you wanna make sure you send out self professionally, and he found out there were some typos in there, we both read over it. So work with them and show, show up at these educational events, and also uh, plan on networking at these educational events. You're gonna get some contacts from there, and hang on to them, respond to them. And the last part about it is real important. Richard talked about uh, exercising. I run a couple times a week and I do a, think I can do a half marathon every year. So come find me in Fort Worth and I'll, about mile 10, you'll see a grown man crying. <laughs> One of the, uh, he was a vice president. He uh, ran a hedge fund previous to working at New Western. And we worked with that hedge fund. We closed about uh, right around 20 to 25 deals per month with him and the hedge fund. And in fact, in those days, if you're real estate market here, you knew that the option period would work till, uh, we'd be good till midnight. Well, the long story short, the thing about this person, he would love to send out an email at 11 or 11.30 and say, Lynn, here's my two options. I want 10 grand off that property or I want to I, I want to option out of the contract. So anyways, we used to stay up till midnight every time working with him because of these 20 deals per month. But uh, he was the vice president for the hedge fund or he worked with the hedge fund and then he went to New Western. So we kept on working that relationship. He knew that we could do, do what we said we wanted to do and we kept on working with him at New, West, New Western. Now New Western's in, I don't know, 30 states? Yeah. At least, at least. So, now, we still work with them. I should have asked any other questions. Mile 10, I'll be out there crying. Fort Worth Bridge. 